Greetings, everyone. My name is Shanti Moore, and I'm here on behalf of Sister Song to bring you the RJ Intentions for Black Lives New Moon Solar Eclipse in Taurus Ritual Guide or Ritual Guide video. And um, there, at, there is actually a written uh, ritual guide that will accompany this video, but I wanted to actually just kind of talk a little bit about the energy um, without reading the ritual guide word for word, because I think this is a really um, auspicious new moon um, and definitely want to take advantage of. I know for me personally, I don't necessarily work with the energy of every new moon. There are some new moons that pass me because I may not be inspired to work with the energy or I may just be really content with where I am in the moment. But this particular new moon feels like one of those ones that you don't really want to let pass by because the energy is so um, monumental. So I was thinking about um, just words to describe Taurus energy. Um, and I happened to be scrolling this morning on YouTube and I noticed that today is Master P's birthday, Percy Miller. And I thought to myself, like, he is a perfect example of Taurus energy, but also the energy of the potential of this new moon. Um, for one, for anybody who's not familiar with Master P, um, he started his own, first of all, he started out as a rapper um, and eventually created his own record label, went on to make movies. Um, and I don't know his life like that, but has since created an empire. Um, and has not only created an empire, but has created a legacy for his children. You know, and some of his children have actually um, taken the steps to walk in his footsteps. And so I think, again, just like as a prototype, like thinking about Taurus energy, um, the key word or the catchphrase for Taurus is I have. And when you think about um, that type of legacy, like he can actually look and say, look, look at what I have created, you know, um, what I have created will live way beyond my years personally. And that's how expansive Taurus energy is. And that's why this new moon is so important being that it's also a solar eclipse because solar eclipse energy tends to amplify, um, whatever the new moon is doing anyway. But this is, um, a moon for empire building. And it's not the kind of energy that I think comes along every day. Um, also something else to know about the moon being in Taurus is that the moon is exalted in the sign of Taurus. So not only is the moon comfortable in the sign, the moon operates well in the sign of Taurus. Uh, also, thinking about Taurus energy, Taurus corresponds to the major arcana tarot card of the Empress, which is another archetype of fertility and abundance and creativity. So these are all of the themes that are um, swirling around this moon, if you will, um, and the themes that we can kind of focus on and use as we're doing our ritual work. Um, so with that, the ritual that um, I was inspired to create or, or use for this particular new moon is a planting ritual. Um, Taurus is solid or fixed earth. So things that need to be grounded um, are good to focus on uh, during this time. So the um, implements for this ritual, first I started with this really cute ceramic planter I got from Family Dollar here in Atlanta. And um, it actually comes with paints. 
uh, to paint the little butterfly on, on the planter. And I'm mentioning that because being that uh, Taurus represents creativity, I think um, the more creative that we can get with our rituals, the more energy that we will add to them, especially with this new moon. Um, also, I know that I made it a point to like get a little dressed up. Like I'm in my, what I would call my ritual attire. You know, I made sure to put on just a little bit of makeup to, to, to put on some perfume because Taurus energy is also very extravagant. Taurus is ruled by Venus and really appreciates the finer things, you know, so good food, good scents, um, good fabrics, things of value. Uh, value is another word um, that represents Taurus energy. So in addition to my ceramic planter, I also have um, some stones that I have chosen that I will plant. Um, and I have them in this little bowl. And my intention is to cleanse them with, with some salt water. I didn't want to do that um, just yet. But I also have my soil that I'll use. And I put the soil in this mason jar. I didn't actually have to, but one of the things that I really like to do when I'm using soil for, for a ritual is to put my hands in it, you know, and to just kind of massage it a little, a little bit, because I feel like that as well adds to the energy, like every little bit that we can give to add to a ritual, I think um, magnifies the energy and the, the potential that's there. I also have um, a piece of parchment paper that I will use to write my petition on or my prayer. And um, once I have this written, I'm going to take my my paper and you can you can use brown paper bag if you want. You can use notebook paper if you have it, whatever uh, you have it at your disposal. But after I write on it, I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it towards me in the smallest square that um, I can get it in. And then once I'm done with that, um, actually, even before I fold it, I'm going to anoint it with, this is some High John the Conqueror oil. And um, this is really just to add power to, to amplify the energy um, of my prayers. But you can use all different types of oils to anoint with. Um, again, like this feels like a moon to really get playful with, you know, so all of the different implements that you can add, however creative you can get with your ritual, I believe it really will help um, to manifest whatever your intentions are. So after I have get my um, paper folded, my intention is to add, you know, some dirt to my little plants or maybe about halfway or a third, and then I'll put my paper with my prayer or my petition, and then I'll put my cleansed stones on top of that paper, and then I'll just fill it up the rest of the way with dirt. And um, I don't know when exactly I'm going to paint my butterfly. I might paint it before I actually do that part. But um, after that, you just water it. And I know usually you plant seeds, you know, uh, for plants to grow. And but this is this is really just utilizing that concept of of sowing a seed that we can give attention to and that we can water daily, because that's part of the ritual, that's part of the magic, and that's part of what will help whatever this intention is to grow. So. Um, Really cute, little simple ritual. Um, again, this this new moon, I think, is going to um, just be really impactful um, for the people who choose to use it, who who choose to work with the energy. So, um, thank you for taking the time to to watch this video. Um, I hope that. If it's your desire to do so, that you get into it and create a ritual um, that works for you uh, to utilize this energy and happy magic making.